what's up everybody today i wanted to go through the 11d image utility so if you go to the 11d homepage and scroll down there'll be an image plugin here right at the top of the official plugins we just released version 6 of the image utility and it has some great developer experience improvements that i want to go through so let's just walk through how to set it up in your 11d project first thing you're going to want to do is scroll down there's some configuration code you need to add to your project so we'll go back to VS Code and we'll paste that in our 11D config. You notice we already have 11D running down here. And if we go to our package.json, we just have the 11D and the 11D image dependencies installed here. And next we will add an image. So let's go to Unsplash. So let's copy the image link here. We'll go back here and make a image element here. We'll add some alt text from the image as well. And after we save it, we can look at the output file that 11D has generated for us. And you can see a picture element. So it, 11D image took the image tag that we created here, downloaded that remote image to our local project, optimized it as a WebP and a JPEG version by default, added width and height attributes for us automatically, and created a picture element since we have two different formats. Now if we want to change the output width here, we can just add a width attribute here, and 11D will reprocess the image with just a 600 width version. If we want to override the formats that are used in this image, uh, we can do that. We can add an AVIF here, and we can go back to our output HTML, and we see that now we just have an IMG element instead of a picture. That's because we're only using a single output format, uh, and 11 has generated a 600 width AVIF image for us with the appropriate width and height attributes. So that's all you need to do to get 11D image running in your project. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it's helpful and keep building for the web.